there, and welcome to The Dough Show for Monday, June 11th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really great episode for you today, so let's get right into it. Uh, this was a very busy weekend in Edmonton as Edmonton Pride kicked off for 2018. Um, on Friday night, Shea Coulee was presented at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Yay! Um, that was the event that was originally supposed to be Monet Exchange, and then she ended up having to film the finale, so we got Shea Coulee, who got delayed in Minneapolis and almost didn't make it, but she did. <laughs> so it was a little bit of a shorter show than sometimes we get, but uh, the, ama the opening acts were still absolutely amazing. Uh, yes, it was, uh, some Snap Boys came in. Oh, the Snap Boys were amazing. <laughs> they were so good. Well, I haven't seen them perform in years, so like it was it was really good to see them again. Mm -hmm. uh, Davina Die For absolutely killed it. Um, Electrocute did her um, semi-final number with Pokemon Go, which was really yes. great. Um, Godiva did Before He Cheats, and like it was just, it, I just, uh, it was I a died. different version of that song, yes. wasn't it? Yes, yeah. it was wonderful. Uh, Molly Poppins and I were both dying on our opposite sides of the stage. Um, Kat Marlowe Menorah did a fantastic number. Uh, Mona Moore was in town, and she is always turning it out when she's here. The legs for days, she's such an amazing dancer. And uh, Ruby Hyman pulled out that amazing number with all the sponges and everything, which again, which I originally for Monet Exchange, I believe, but ah, uh, sponge. now it makes sense. And now it makes sense. But yes, it was a really fun night, and and Shay, despite all of her issues getting there and everything else, uh, still turned it out. Had a great time. Um, was super sweet to everybody from what yeah. I heard and everything else. So. Videos from all of that are available on the YouTube, so you should definitely go check those out. Oh, that's so exciting. Saturday. Pride on 103rd. Um, it was the block party at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Um, there was just a few numbers uh, to throw in there to, for a bit of entertainment. Uh, Twiggy did a number. Uh, the Atomic Bombshells, which is Lady Tenderflake. Um, Gigi. Yes. And Miss Indecisive. Hi, Muffin! <laughs> um, and uh, they did a fantastic version of Venus. Uh, Tara Bull performed. Yes. You know I love Tara Bull. She turned it out, as always. Um, Amani and, and Sushi did yes. a Lady Gaga number. So fabulous. And then there was a group of people that I've referred to as the Village Idiots performing some <laughs> uh, village people, including me. And uh, Colin Bay, Christy Healy, No Vagina, uh, Chez Les Anne Rue, and uh, Trailer Park Trash. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of fun. And also the Queens of the Orient performed. Absolutely. And their number got blocked, but I will try to fix that and change up the pitch so it can be played on the YouTube. Yeah, it was just one of the first uh, songs in there. Like yeah, it's like that first song or whatever. Caused the whole thing. I'll fix the pitch and get the rest of the song. So, out. yes. Um, Look for those videos on the channel as well. Um, Sunday. Sunday. Was a very busy day. And there was actually other events that we didn't even get to this weekend, um, including Hail Mary and, and a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, we, we do our best with what we can with, with uh, the four with of us. With what but, we got. <laughs> but as we say, if, if you are interested at all in helping us out and filming some shows, please contact us. We've got some coming yeah. up this week too that we need your help with. So, uh, yeah. We would like to recruit you. Yes, as we a would. Volunteer we unpaid. want you. We want you. We <laughs> want you as a new recruit. Volunteer unpaid position yes. only. <laughs> However, we were able to make it to a couple events on Sunday. And right on. I was at an event uh, earlier in the evening at the Almanac down on White Avenue. And they had a small room in the back that they could do uh, events in. And um, the Franco-queer community put on an event called Mange Ma Draguette, or Eat My Draguette. Um, but I yes. don't know what a draguette is, but it's Well, I think it's, just a, it's a pun on baguette with drag, ah. I believe is all it was. I don't know. I don't speak the language. <laughs> Which made the event interesting for me. Um, yeah, it was, it was fun. Uh, they did their best to try to make us feel um, a part of it as well, for the yeah. few of us that were only English speakers. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it was like... But the, we had some bilingual performers. We did. Stage. 
Well, it was pretty much an all French number. Like Andrew Ginny was the one that was hosting, um, so she did three French numbers and hosted in French mostly. Oh, um, right and then uh, Lady Tenderflake uh, did three numbers, and uh, all of them fabulous, all of them different. Um, Sushi did a couple of or three, I think, again, amazing numbers. Um, she's such a, an amazing little firecracker. I just love watching her move. Yeah. Um, there was a debut by a new queen called Camille Lyon. Yes. Uh, yeah, did great for a debut. Had a obviously had a good time. So welcome to the channel. Yes, obviously welcome. And finally that evening we also had some performances from burlesque artist Holly Von Sin. Yes. And, oh, she was so good. And, and I, we didn't have her on our channel somehow before. Yeah. She is a doe yeah. debut. Doe debut. Doe newbie. Yeah. Oh so anyway, I couldn't believe it. So I was so yeah. happy to actually finally have her on there. If you need more Holly Von Sin, you can actually check her out on her own YouTube channel. Yeah, she has so her own. Feel free to check and that out. And I swear we had her before, but I guess we didn't so well. Maybe Welcome. it's one of the group numbers. I was. Oh, I'm not 100 percent sure, but welcome anyway. on board. <laughs> but yes, yay Holly. Uh, so yeah, that was that was absolutely fabulous. I had a, I had a really good time, and it was another new event, and yeah. it, and it was their first drag show by that community, and it was really neat to be a part we of. Are popping cherries left, right, and center. Right. Um, and for for both drag and for the Franco queer community, it was a. Uh, a debut, a new thing, a, right. a good, uh, uh, anyway, they had a wonderful time and, and I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up seeing another event down the road, so, uh, yeah, thanks for having me, uh, I had a great time. Um, while I was doing that, someone else was across town getting ready to film the Sunday Review. That's right. So I was across town at Evolution filming at Evo, hashtag your gay pride. Mm -hmm. And it was a Sunday review with past Miss Evolutions and past Anne's mm -hmm. winners. Yeah. Uh, missing, um, missing. just for the record, was anyone by the name of Tierra and, and, our, and our current king, Duke Carson. Yes. However, the rest of the clan was there. Um, there were some really great numbers. I was absolutely living for Lilith when she did Nirvana Breed. Like, that was just, ugh freaking out. Um, so good to see that. And again, just like punk, gender fuckery, wonderful. Um, Davina did a couple of fantastic numbers. Vanity was absolutely stunning with her I am what I am. Yeah. Uh, uh, a couple numbers got blocked, like Davina's got blocked and one of Roselle's got blocked as well. So Vogue! A couple of them aren't available on the YouTube, but uh, yes. Roselle did a couple of lovely, wonderful numbers, like her Amaya King number, like Time Bomb. Time. Definitely, definitely <laughs> right up there on one of my yes. favorite or iconic videos. I love Amaya King. <clears throat> Roselle's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a, it was a lot of a lot of fun. It was a really good show. Mm -hmm. And that was, was last, last week. week. And this is this week. On Wednesday at Haley's Club Starlight Casino at West Edmonton Mall, we have the HMD Her Majesty's Drag Show, hosted by Lilith Fair, and uh, performers include Lady Tenderflake, JBR, and Chelsea Horrendous. It's an interesting concept. What they've actually got them doing is they're doing a half an hour set each, 30 minutes at a time, six numbers, banging it out one after another. Lilith is doing 12 numbers in a row in an hour. So not a whole lot of costume changing, <laughs> I'm assuming. Yeah. But it's going to be really interesting. Uh, we have somebody lined up to film that, so you can definitely check those out after Wednesday. Mm -hmm. On Thursday, we have Homicidal at the Metro Cinema. They're playing Tu Wong Fu. So the homicidal crew uh, will be Lilith, Chelsea, and Lourdes, the Mary Virgin. Um, and those three haven't been together at a Metro show in a long time, so that's really cool to see. Um, that is one of the things that I was talking about earlier. We don't have somebody lined up to film that, so if you are interested in any way, shape, or form on filming that show for Dragging Our Heels, yes. please send us a message because we, we would love to have the footage. Yeah. We would love to recruit you. Thank you. And on Friday, oh Friday, bitch, we got Quicker Kitty Cat Die Die, 
which is the parody of Faster Kitty Cat, Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, an original, completely written drag musical put on by Lilith Fair and 50% Fruit Productions. Take it away, like, what can we expect? I, well, I mean, you can expect camp excitement and silliness and absurdity and... Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. I, uh, I believe the premise for this one is very much like the movie, and it's Chelsea and Lilith and Lourdes are like three tough-as-nails bitches that are driving across and they get go to this farmhouse and... Who the hell knows? Goblin Dix is in it. Um, uh, Chelsea, Chelsea, Lourdes, Cat, Cat, and Vula. Vula Callis and, and Trailer Park Trash. Trash are both making their 50 Cent production debut. So that's really exciting too. Kick, kick. On Saturday we got Ben de la Creme. Ben's <laughs> coming back! Yay! Amazing. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some opening acts and stuff like that, and then afterwards, Shishi LaRue and Rocco Steeler are at the bar as well. Oh, Rocco! So, Saturday night's going to be a lot of fun at Evolution. It's, it's going to be their big blowout, so you definitely want to be there. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Ben is sold out, but um, be looking. The people are always having to cancel out on the last minute and sell off their tickets. So be on the lookout and be, be on the trigger, and you very well might be able to find some. So good luck. Hope to see you there. And then stick around for Sunday, because on um, Sunday is the Fishbowl Show, and that's hosted by Shishi LaRue, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a fun number, or a fun show of numbers drawn out of Fishbowl. So, no idea who's going to be in it, what's going to happen, what songs are going to be in it, it's going to be totally open to Shishi. So, uh, I am excited to see what that yeah. bitch decides to do. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We I always love it when she's in town. And we don't know who's in it or how they no. select who's in it. So no. that'll be really interesting to see. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Um, that's really about it, I think, other than maybe choosing a pick of the week. Yeah. Do you have something that you... Yeah, I'm going to pick the Snap Boys. Reading mm. is fundamental. Just because we never see that kind of performance at EVO, like that specific mm -hmm. type, so. It was fabulous. I'm going with that one. The energy was just incredible to be a part of. It was it was, a, it was a wonderful number, and I haven't seen them perform in years, so it was great. Mm -hmm. um, my pick of the week, um, I am going with Holly Von Sin, the mime burlesque number that she did. I just, I was roaring. If you listen to the video, I'm sure you can probably hear me, because I was, <laughs> I was laughing throughout it. I just, I thought it was just absolutely a brilliant concept, and I talked to her afterwards, and she said she'd tried it once before with a slightly different variation on it, and it hadn't gone over well, but this, I thought, was absolutely perfect. So, congratulations, Holly, on that. I thought it was phenomenal. Yeah. And once again, welcome to our channel, Holly. Yes, absolutely. Anyway, that's more than enough yakking from me. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. That's nice, Steven. I got new kicks. <laughs> I'll are. show you a new kick. Woo! Oh, yeah. Gotta go. <laughs>